Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the JavaScript sessions. In this session, we will talk about the conditional block. In this conditional block, we will basically talk about the if block, we will talk about the else block, we will talk about else if block and then finally we will talk about the nested if block. So these are the topics we are going to cover for today's session. So let's get started. So here, what I will do, I will declare a variable called bad num equal to 2. Okay. Now, let's say um, I want to print a um, text called gs.info called hi. So if I run this, uh, this code, what will be happen? So easily this high text will be run or high text will be show. Okay. Now what we'll do, I want to put the condition on the condition that if this cat condition is satisfied, then we, we can uh, print this message. Okay. For that, what we can use that first conditional block, we can use that if block. Okay. So what does it mean by if block? So if block, so if I type the if and then we type that num equal to equal to two. Okay. So if num or the, this variable's value equal to equal to 2, I can print this one. Okay. So this is my condition. Okay. Now if I, now if this value gs dot, I mean this um, num value is calculating from somewhere and if this num value equal to equal to 2, then print this high message. So let, let's run that. So this high message is printing right now. Before printing this high message, this is calculating or evaluating that whatever calculation we are putting that that is satisfied or not. So let's say if I put the three, so num is equal to equal to three. Uh, so num value is right now three. So if it is checking that num equal to equal to two, no. Then in case in that case, this high block will not be executed. So basically, using that if block, we can understand that. Are, or we can put some condition that these variables is equal to equal to something or something something so we can put some condition on that okay so not only that equal to equal to we can put uh, any arithmetic logical uh, um, uh, equation like greater than less than uh, not equal to something like that so let's say if i put not equal to it means that if num value not equal to 2 then print that so in that case if we run that hi is printed now if we put the 2 then this condition will not be satisfied now value not equal to 2 no is equal to 2 in that case this high message will not be printed so we can put any arithmetic logical in uh, so equal to equal to or we can also put the same uh, like um, equal to equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to these are the sign we can use or commonly used factor for this conditional block okay so similarly if we say that let's say I uh, will do one more time so let's say uh, greater than so if num value greater than 2 then we will prove or print this information let's run that it is not printing because this is not greater than uh, 2 so what I can do I can increase the value right now it's the num value is the 3 is the greater than equal to 2 yes so if i run that so it is printing the high message okay so in this way uh, we can uh, do um these stops okay so this is the if block or if condition that we can satisfy now what is the else block so if i type the else if you see the documentation next is the else block so else block means that in case this if block is not executed, it will come to the else block. So if this block is executed or this block condition does not matches, so it will not come to this block, it will directly come to the else block without validating any condition. So let's put that some information called gs.info and then I'll say the else block. And now if you see here, in case if it is not matches, this else block will be executed. Let's run that. So if we run the high, so I mean if we run that, the high block is executed because this is met, um, this value is uh, satisfying. So if I put one, this if block will not be executed or this if uh, condition will not be satisfied, it will come to the else block. So run that. So it's come to the else block. So basically, uh, to understand that correctly, um, 
each and every time um, either if we use the if and else so either this block will be executed or this block will be executed any of this block at least should be executed but if we remove that else plot either this block can be executed or not we don't know but if we put if and else then either this block will be executed or this block will be executed in that case we can define that if this block is executed what task i need to do if this block does not execute it it means that this condition does not match is what action i need to do that i can also define that okay now next uh, we have else if block what is the else if so else if is nothing but uh, before else you can put another condition called else if okay and then in this condition you can put some of the condition okay so you can put the condition what condition is that num equal to less greater than two and here i'll change that three so what is as it meant um, so hi it's greater than three okay and i will copy this line So in this else if what will be happen we can validate two times what does it mean by two times so let's say the num value is right now uh, one right so num value is right now one I will change that uh, five this one okay all right so next let's calculate this so right now num value is one in that case first it will check that number is greater than five no second it will check number is greater than two no then definitely it will come to the else block because there is no other way it will fall back to the else block let's run that so it's come to the else block now let's say uh, your value is the three okay so if the value is the three it will calculate the num value greater than three uh no num value is greater than uh two yes then it will come to this block so let's run that so hi it's greater than two so it means that this num value is this if condition does not satisfy then it's checking that this if condition is satisfying or not now let's say if i put the seven so in the seven what will be happen this num is uh, greater than five yes this num is greater than two yes and then definitely which block it should go so this is the fund of else if so if you see this num value is greater than five this num is greater than two the which block it should come so you definitely it will go first and it will it is satisfy this condition once this is satisfied once this if block is satisfied no other block will be checking anymore system will not check any other block it is satisfying or not so using that if and else if if any of this block is already satisfied the below bottom uh, condition will not be checked anymore so in this case although we do both the condition are satisfying this block and this block once this first block will be satisfied the second block will not be satisfied or checking anymore so if i run that so it will check the first block and return the uh, this value it will not going to check any further the third block okay next in this else we can keep on adding else if else if conditions so there is no restriction that we can put only one we can check that num is uh, you know less than one or not okay so in that case if we say that uh, you know we can keep on adding that there is no boundary that we can only put one time or two time okay? so we can add that and then if i see it is right now going to that this block and if we put that um, you know two it will come to that this block so this is this is how it's work okay now the last thing is that nested if what does it mean by nested if nested if is mean that we can check that um let's say well put the five okay so we can check that if num greater than uh three or not okay 
and here we can put that information gs dot info call arm num is greater than three. Okay, and else we can define that num is less than three. So this is the condition we already discussed, but I'm just repeating one more time. And then if I run that, definitely it will go to the first block as for the value. Okay. Now, secondly, we can do one more thing. We can do a nested if. Nested if means inside if we can put another if. So this is the if block starting here and ending here. Inside that, we can define that, um, you know, one more call uh, num less than four. We can validate something like that. So let's say we can put here gs.info and print that num is more than 4. So in this case, what will be happen? The block will come to here and then uh, if we run that, it will run twice. One is the num is greater than 3 and num is more than 4. It is coming because both this condition is satisfied and this condition is satisfied. So inside if, if there is any if, we call the nested if. So let's say if we put the 4, now what will be happen? This block, block will be executed and print this line, but this block, this inside if, this block will not be executed and it did not print anymore. So let's run that. So you can see it's only showing the num is greater than 3, but it's not greater than 4. So that's the reason it did not executed this block and definitely uh, this block is not executing because it's outside of this all right so, so that's it for today uh, it's a little bit uh, tricky uh, if you have any questions just let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day